Out on parade for tonight's first race, exacted trifecta wagering, kicks off the double, scratch the five, little trick, and the seven, Beve Rebo. One is playing field, owned by Thomas Carroll, Jamie Dunlap drives. Two is look at the sissy, owned by Richard Long, Chip Noble in the bike. Three is Turbulent Air's Max Gwen, Jeff Nysonger. Number four is Ab Falcon, owned by Raymond Kenny with Dave Hawk. Five is out, six is Noble Sis, owned by Joyce Slaughter, Ty Van Roden. Seven is out, the eight is Slate Run Magic, owned by Parker, Massey, Ferguson, and Parker, Bill Long Jr. And from the outside, number nine is King's Royal Lady, owned by Lloyd Jean Brown with Jack Daly driving. Six minutes. And the gate is rolling. There they go. And they're off. Noble Sis is out quickly from the center. Plainfield is prominent from the rail. And look at the Sissy. will drop in third. It's a length and a half farther back to Max Grant, who comes away. Five off the pace in fourth. Then it's Ab Falcon, Slate Run Magic. And King's Royal Lady is last of the seven as they make their way to head stretch for the first time. And Ty Van Roden and Noble Sis. They lead the way by two lengths from Plainfield in second, two and a half back. Look at the Sissy third, Max Gwenab Falcon, Slate Run Magic, and King's Royal Lady passing the opening quarter. And coming in front of the stands for the first time, it's Noble Sis leading the way. Noble Sis at two to one is on top by a margin of two. Tracked by Plainfield second, span of three. Look at the Sissy third, two more, Max Gwen fourth. Ab Falcon, three more, pair of trailers, the Outsiders, Slate Run Magic, and King's Royal Lady. Well strung out, about 18 lengths cover the field as they race around the turn on their way to halftime. And Noble Sis is on top. Noble Sis from Plainfield in second. Look at the Sissy, Max Gwen. Hawk takes Ab Falcon into the outside, still with five lengths to make up. Another two more, and we come to King's Royal Lady, who starts to get underway, leaving Slate Run Magic the trailer as they pass halftime with three-eighths of a mile remaining. Midway through the back stretch, Noble Sis still on an open lead. Noble Sis from Plainfield in second. Ab Falcon continues to gain ground under the whip on the outside third, but still three off the pace setter. Two more, and look at the Sissy is covered up fourth. Gap in cover, King's Royal Lady is struggling in fifth, followed by Max Gwen and three and a half back to Slate Run Magic at the three quarters and moving around to head stretch and it's still noble sis with a decisive lead noble sis by two and a half plain field trying to keep up in second struggling on the outside is ab falcon with look at the sissy as they pace through the final eighth mile and it's noble sis she's getting some urging now but she's still on top by three plain field giving chase late pace look at the sissy max gwen but it's all noble sis in the opener noble sis from look at the sissy and max gwen third Back in the winner's circle, the official winner of tonight's first race, Noble Sis, a three-year-old at Noble Land Sam Philly out of Bridget Bardal. By Oil Burner, owned by Joyce Slaughter of Newark, Ohio. Richard Slaughter is the winning trainer, and Ty Van Roden is the winning driver. 
Six two exact of forty dollars and twenty cents on the try. Six two and three one fifty nine twenty.